And screw you, repairman. We can do it ourselves. Is this okay? Can like this? we? I was stuck in a wreck, couldn't get rid of my gut, but I didn't take my trouble to find the door to Hey guys, so we have been um, seeing a lot of birds over here underneath our um, fifth wheel hangover for the last couple weeks. We weren't sure if they were building a nest or if they were just really interested over here, but I had a feeling they were building a nest. And today we were sitting and eating outside and we could hear birds chirping. And I was like, that sounds a lot like baby birds. And Mike's like, no, it's not. And I was like, I bet they built an, a nest up in our fifth wheel hitch. Do you want to show it? Like this thing, that thing up there. So Mike started pulling crap out and look at what we found. First, he just started pulling out handfuls of, um, of twigs and stuff. We didn't think there was an actual nest, but then look, we found two baby birds and we don't there's know what two? to do with them. Yeah. Really? Yeah, there's two in there. Oh, I'm not quite sure what to do with them though. We have to keep them warm. Oh, it's plenty warm. I and bet. I don't want anything to eat them. They barely have their eyes open and. There's nothing out here that will eat them. There's no cats. Yeah, I'm sure there are things out here that will eat them. But now I feel bad because we're... Okay, so... So we're moving in a week and they would die. Like instantly they would die if we took off. That's why I wanted Mike to check and see if they were building a nest so we could get it out of there. Um, but now what do we do? They Maybe can't live we... in there while we travel. Like, you know, the... I mean, mom it's a pretty never rough find ride. Them. They would die, and the mama bird would never find them if we did take them with. And I don't know what to do. I feel so bad now. Yeah, he's eating a pickle off the ground. He do just... you think pet stores have bird food? I know how to hand feed birds. My parents used to raise birds. Baby birds? Yeah, we used to hatch them and take them right away from their mama. And then we would hand feed them. Every three hours, you'd have to syringe feed them. They aren't these kinds of birds, but they're birds. They're so cute though. Okay, why don't we call my dad and we'll see what he says. Okay. But I think they're freaking out from the wind and stuff. Well, and their nest is all kind of torn apart. And they're right in the sun, so I'm sure that they're going to get too hot. You have to keep them warm, but not that warm. <gasps> I have an idea. What? Where's your phone? Mama bird right underneath there. No jacks, no jacks. Okay. Touch, please. Okay. Right under there, you can see her shadow. Okay. Look right there. What? Um, uh, I'm good at playing baby birds. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm good. I don't think you've ever done it before. <laughs> All right, I got some baby bird food from Petco, and now I have to jump on over to Target and buy a heating pad. Um, I talked to my dad, and he said he has extra food, so I only bought a little bit of food, and I'm going to snatch some off of them and, them and then see how long we can keep these little baby birds alive. I looked them up. They're sparrows. So, yeah, I hope I don't kill them. We'll see. I've raised baby birds before. My dad, like I said, my dad... Um, raised cockatiels and Quakers and I was very heavily involved with that so hopefully I still remember <laughs> how to take care of them but we'll see anyway so I'm headed over to Target and then I'm headed home Mike stayed home with the kids because they were grouchy and they needed to go to bed and he was a little bit grouchy too so he needed a little break for a minute some downtime so anyways I'm enjoying my alone time in the car driving around and um, running some errands but that's what's going on <laughs> we got two little guys in there. Hey you, you want some more? Two happy little guys. Happy as can be. Sleeping away now. I went out there to check on them once I got home and they had wiggled their way out of their nest and their mama hadn't come back so it had been a couple hours and I know that they need to eat every like two hours so we brought them inside and I just fed them. They ate well <laughs> and now they're just sleeping away.
Sweet little birdie. Do you guys see this thing? It's probably not focusing on it. That's their sister or brother. It didn't hatch. Mm, sad day. Just kidding. No, it's not. I don't want to be three d feeding three baby birds. But look how tiny it is. I can't imagine a bird that hatches out of that. It's a tiny bird. They're pretty big now. We're doing some research on how to take care of sparrows now. And it looks like we're probably going to be feeding them for another three or four weeks. So this should be fun. <laughs> um, but I just, I can't let them die. And we're moving in a week, so I know that even if we had tried to leave them and see if the mom ever came back for them, which we did leave them for a few hours and the mom never came back. Well, she came back, but she didn't, she just like hopped right over them. But, hi dear. Anyways, so we're moving, so they would have been dead anyways. So we'll try our hardest to keep them alive and see how long, see how long we can keep them never alive. Never had for. success growing up, so. This would be a first. Well, I used to raise birds. So we got a pro here. That's right. My mom wasn't a pro, and she probably didn't feed him enough. Now, dear, what do you seem to be doing in this bathroom? Mm. In the shower, once again. Trying to fix something. With all these pieces and parts on the ground. Huh? Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Do you want to tell me what you're doing? Nothing fun. I've got the camera out. You have to talk to it. I'm just fix, replacing our we can't hear shower you. thing. That's my butt. Nice butt. So as you may recall, we had a repairman come over the day that before we were leaving for... Or we haven't paid him yet. We haven't paid him yet. For Nashville. And he fixed our shower. And then we left for Nashville and never used it because it had to dry for 24 hours. And we left sooner than 24 hours. Um, so then we got home and Mike took a shower and it still spilled water all over the floor. So now we're saying, screw you, repairman. We can do it ourselves. Is this okay? Can like this? we? Is it okay like that? That's reassuring. I mean, like that. I say yes. Do you even want to use this thing? I hate it. It limits it coming down. Yeah, I don't like that thing. I hate it too. We'll leave it there. Like that? Looks great, babe. So my semi-handyman Mike is uh, working away at trying, attempting to make our shower not leak water all over the floor when we try to take baths. It won't leak now. I've got the leak now. new one. That's dripping on your head. It's the shower. I know. Can you feel it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the joys. Oh, the joys. Kind of feels good though. To get dripped on? Mm -hmm. You're a nerd. The life of living in an RV. We have to relearn how to do everything because it's so different than a house. Like in a house, we kind of know how to repair things, but here it's like so different. Repairs are so different, so it's fun. Do you guys want to see our little birdie's new home? I didn't know where to put them where Jackson would leave them alone, so. They're in the closet. Do you see them? There they are. I've got a temperature thing in here to see how warm they are. I might have to add a heat pad, but they're living in there. Hopefully I don't forget about them. I set it, uh, an alarm on my phone though, so we should be okay, but um, I tend to be bad at out of sight, out of mind things, so alarms are good. Yes, they are.